Hey everyone, this video will be showing you how to make your own background. It's a pretty easy thing to do really, but I thought I'd make this video. I'm kind of bored in a way, but not really, because I actually like just making my own backgrounds. As you can see, I did another one. It's This one was actually pretty quick. It took me like 10 minutes, basically. But yeah. I will, I'm using Photoshop to do most of the editing and then I use GIMP for the last parts if I have to. But, yeah. So we're going to first open Photoshop. And then we're going to open up our picture. I already have an idea of what I want to do, so we're going to open the picture. We're going to go into our pictures. We're going to CC. We're going to grab this picture. Now what we're going to want to do, now what we want to do is say we want to let's see where is it here it is rotate we're going to flip it horizontally do that and you can see it's now completely flipped now what we're going to do is do that real quick go over here to pictures we're going to grab where is it where is it there it is we're going to grab this picture right here and we add it to the pick. Okay, now we can actually fully form that again. We can hide that for now. And we're going to leave this right here for, at the moment. But first off, we're going to click this. We got to do. Why can't I do anything all of a sudden? Oh, I forgot about that part. We got to do this and place it. You're going to have to go to the background because we, we're going to want to change the color, so we got to duplicate it. We can never mess with anything else. We're going to call it layer 1. Okay. Now we're going to say we want to color dodge it. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's color dodge both of them. Color dodge. Move it. Let's move it like right here. And then what we're going to do. We're going to do a blur, and we're going to do that, oops, do that, and then we're going to do the blur thing that I showed in the previous video, to do that. So as you can look, it looks pretty dang nice already, um, it has, it barely looks like any, oops, barely looks anything like it used to. We're going to now though, click on Lens Saturation, and we're going to mess with some of this. Say we want a little more green. Center maybe there. Let's see. What one I want to do last time? Let's see. Click on this button. Oops. It's not color dodge you. It's not color dodge you. Um, let's put you right there where you can get the coloring now we're gonna grab we're gonna grab you not that we're not gonna grab that we're gonna grab you oh yeah we can't move the background I forgot about that oh well we're gonna grab you then put you let's say right there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the paint bucket. If you don't have a paint bucket, it's probably gonna be the grinding tool. It's you put it right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on let's make it that color. And that color. And then we're gonna have to oops. Go back on. Then we're gonna get anime. We're gonna Yeah. And then we're gonna do that. Which will basically get rid of the other video, the other background, and we're going to mess with the background, background. Say we want to do that. Mm, that. Keep it all one color. That's actually pretty, looking pretty nice so far. Now we're going to click on, let's say we want to move her, not her. We're back to where it was. Actually, we should move you down a bit. We can delete that part that's right there. Let's see, we'll move you 
right there. And then we're going to grab this, we paint this with our recent color. Now let's say we want to, what else, what else does that do? Hmm, well I guess we can go here, click on saturation again, and mess the color even more. Oh, we can make it look off. One color, that looks pretty nice, but we're not going to do that. Let's see, let's make it down here a bit. Let's actually, let's make it bluish. Like that. There we go. Mm, it's alright looking. And we're going to click on yeah, her. We're going to do the saturation set to her now. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's turn this up. No, that's too bright. Let's turn it down a tad. This up a tad. Hmm, that looks pretty good. But we're going to make it a little bit darker. And we're going to turn this a little bit up. And there you go. That actually looks pretty good. Um, let's see. Let's see, that does look pretty good actually. Let's see what it looks like if we switch these. It deletes her, as you see, because her background is taken over. We can do that, and it's back to normal. <laughs> Let's see. I think that's basically all we really want to do. So that looks pretty good. Turn it up a tad. No, we don't. We want to turn it that way. Maybe we can turn it this direction a little bit. We grab that. There you go. And actually, maybe you don't. Maybe you want to change the background. Maybe not go with the background the same color. So you just click on the background. You go in here. You click. Maybe let's click. Let's click like whatever color this is. The brownish. And just click that, and we change some parts of the thing. But you really want to change this one. There you go. Actually, let's go back. Let's go backward. Let's go backward. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards more. Let's go backwards even further. Backwards. Not that far backwards. Now we gotta go forward one. Forward one. Okay. Now we wanna click on that layer. And then we click on the new color. It's gonna make it all greenish. And I guess we can click on the background, try to get those change color. As you see, it's different colors now. Um, if you want those the same color as her, you'd have to find out what color she is. So you have to click on your button here. Uh, let's color and then I think that's it. We click oops. Oops, go back. Whatever, we don't need that anymore. Go away. Okay. We want to go here, we need to go back up to blue or whatever it was. And then we just simply, oops. Oops. Go, ooh. And then that's it. Now you can see her a lot better because she's not the same color as the background. And then you see that looks pretty good actually. And you would say, do like a YouTube channel or something. Or trail, whatever, you can easily just go in here, grab the text, type where I fit in, where I fit close, put it, then you'd want to close that. You go in here, and you'd, you need to go up here, you can change the color of that, obviously, because you wouldn't want that the same color as everything else. Let's change it, look how that it, we'll change that pinkish color, oops. Let's change it up back to that pinkish color. And then you'd want to go in here. You'd want to probably change it to color dodge. And you'd want to change it and put it in front of everything else. So actually, let's turn it to normal. As you can see, it way better. 
but you can oops click on no we need to click on that thing if we move it down oops don't want that there we go there now it looks pretty decent color dodge but it's kind of hard to see so what we can actually do I actually think this might mess it up yeah because it's going to change everything else actually so let's go away um, I believe there's a way, I can't remember correctly. Whatever, we don't need it. Let's just, yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of the entire thing. Won't let me. Where's the thing? How can you get rid of it? There you go. And let's turn this normal. Let's turn to dissolve. There. Now that even has a little bit of editing. Let's go back to let's double click this real quick. Give it that. If we wanted to we can give it an arch or something. Let's get one of these. Let's move it down a hair and there. Let's see what that looks like. Oops. Let's see. There. I think it gives it even more customization. It'll probably look better if it was going downwards, but it still looks pretty good. So, yeah, I believe that's pretty good actually. If you wanted to do the same thing with her, you have to do the opposite direction though, or with the other person, or copy the original folder file again and layer over here and just do it the same thing to it. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. So what you would want to do is now file, save as, and let's put it on the desktop so it's easy to find. We'll put tutorial, put tutorial. Remember to change this for the picture. We'll put tutorial pic. No, we'll put tutorial, yeah, we'll put the sort of picture. And then go, okay. And there you go. Minimize that, you can close that. And there's the picture. It actually looks pretty nice, don't it? For a quickie. So that's basically everything. And the reason I use GIMP is for when I want to use it as a picture, as a back background. So I'm probably going to be, actually I'm probably going to be switching from this, between this and that. So if you want to do, you can just have a real quick and grab this here. And see as, it's not as the background is the exact same color now. All you have to do is go here, transparency. You want to add that, that. And then just delete that. And that. We'll probably use these because you don't want those colors there. Well, you probably wouldn't want those colors there. I don't know, you might, but I don't. And there you go. Then you simply go save as again. You can see the same name if you wanted to. You just change this type to ping and save as the best quality you can or and compression. And then close that, close that. And there you go. Now it doesn't have that background. Which is basically what we would need if you're going to make it into a, a video stamp. Which I will make a next video and that's what's going to be explaining that. So, and, but yeah. So, until next time. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. If this helps you in any way. Until next time, everyone.